The Qur'an, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. Chapter 58. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. God has heard the saying of her that disputes with thee concerning her husband and complains to God. And God hears the conversation between you. God is hearing, seeing. Those among you who assist among their wives, they are not their mothers. Their mothers are only those who gave them birth. And they say what is perverse among sayings and a falsehood. And God is forgiving, merciful. And those who assist among their wives then go back on what they have said, the freeing of a slave before they touch one another. That are you exhorted to do, and God is aware of what you do. And whoso has not the means, a fast of two moons consecutively before they touch one another. And whoso is not able, the feeding of sixty needy ones. That is that you might believe in God and his messenger, and those are the limits of God. And for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is a painful punishment. Those who work against God and his messenger will be abased even as those before them were abased. And we have sent down clear proofs. And for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is a humiliating punishment. The day God raises them all together, he will inform them of what they did. God counted it, and they forgot it. And God is witness over all things. Hast thou not considered that God knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth? There is no confidential conversation of three save he is their fourth, nor of five, save he is their sixth, nor of less than that, nor of greater, save he is with them, wheresoever they be. Then will he inform them of what they did on the day of resurrection. God knows all things. Hast thou not considered those who were forbidden confidential conversation then returned to what they were forbidden? and they converse confidentially in falsehood and enmity and disobedience towards the messenger. And when they come to thee, they greet thee with a greeting wherewith God has not greeted thee, and they say within themselves, O oh, that God but punished us for what we say, ellipsis, then would we regard him as a messenger and listen to what he says, to continue. Their reckoning is hell, they will burn therein, and evil is the journey's end. O oh, you who heed warning, when you converse confidentially, converse not confidentially in falsehood and enmity and disobedience towards the messenger, but converse confidentially in virtue and prudent fear. And be in prudent fear of God, to whom you will be gathered. Confidential conversation is but of the shaitan, that he might grieve those who heed warning. And he can harm them not at all, save by God's leave. And in God, let the believers place their trust. O you who heed warning, when it is said to you, make room at the gathering, then make room. God will make room for you. And when it is said, go higher, then go higher. God will raise those who heed warning and those given knowledge among you in degree. And God is aware of what you do. O oh, you who heed warning. When you converse confidentially with the messenger, send ahead charity at the time of your confidential conversation. That is better and purer for you. But if you find not the means, 
God is forgiving, merciful. Fear you to send ahead charity at the time of your confidential conversation? Then since you do not and God turns towards you, uphold the duty and give the purity and obey God and his messenger. And God is aware of what you do. Hast thou not considered those who take as allies a people with whom God is wroth? They are not of you and not of them, and they swear to lies, and they know. God has prepared for them a severe punishment. Evil is what they did. They took their oaths as a cover and forsook the path of God, so for them is a humiliating punishment. Their wealth and their children will avail them nothing against God. These are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. The day God raises them all together, then will they swear to him as they swear to you. And they think that they stand upon something. In truth, it is they who are the liars. The shaitan overcame them and caused them to forget the remembrance of God. These are the party of the shaitan. In truth, the party of the shaitan, they are the losers. Those who work against God and his messenger, they will be among the most abject. God has decreed, I will conquer, I and my messengers. God is strong, mighty. Thou wilt not find people who believe in God and the last day, loving those who work against God and his messenger, though they be their fathers or their sons or their brethren or their kindred. These he has decreed faith in their hearts and strengthened them with a spirit from him and makes them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein. God is pleased with them and they pleased with him. These are the party of God. In truth, the party of God, they are the successful. Chapter 59 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. What is in the heavens and what is in the earth gives glory to God, and he is the mighty, the wise. He it is who brought forth those who are indifferent to warning among the doctors of the law from their homes to the first gathering. You did not suppose that they would go forth, and they supposed that their strongholds would protect them from God. But God reached them in what manner they had not reckoned on, and hurled terror into their hearts. They ruined their dwellings with their hands, and the hands of the believers. So take a lesson, O you with eyes to see. And had God not decreed exile for them, he would have punished them in this world. And they have in the hereafter the punishment of the fire, because they were hostile towards God and his messenger. And whoso is hostile towards God, God is severe in retribution. What you cut down of palm trees or left standing on its roots, it was by God's leave, and that he might disgrace the wantonly perfidious. And what God bestowed upon his messenger from them, you spurred not for it any horse or riding camel. But God gives his messenger authority over whom he wills, and God is powerful over all things. What God bestowed upon his messenger from the people of the cities belongs to God and his messenger and to relatives and the fatherless and the needy and the wayfarer, ellipsis, and to them alone, to continue, that it become not a distribution between the rich among you. 
and what the messenger gives you, take it, and from what he forbids you, refrain, and be in prudent fear of God. God is severe in retribution for the poor emigres who have been turned out from their homes and their belongings, seeking favour and approval from God, and help God and his messenger. These are the truthful and those who settled in home and faith before them love those who emigrate to them, and they find in their breasts no resentment at what was given them, but give preference above themselves, though privation be their lot. And whoso is protected from the covetousness of his soul, these are the successful. And those who come after them say, Our Lord, Forgive thou us and our brethren who preceded us in faith, and make thou not rankle in our hearts towards those who heed warning. Our Lord, thou art kind, merciful. Hast thou not considered the waverers saying to their brethren who are indifferent to warning among the doctors of the law, if you be expelled, we will go out with you and will not obey anyone concerning you ever, and if you be attacked, we will help you. And God bears witness that they are liars. If they be expelled, they will not go out with them, and if they be attacked, they will not help them, and if they help them, they will turn and flee, then will they not be helped. You are of stronger fear in their breasts than God because they are a people who do not understand. They will not fight you all together save in fortified cities or from behind walls. Their might is strong among them. Thou thinkest of them as together, whereas their hearts are diverse because they are a people who do not reason like the example of those before them nearby. They tasted the evil consequences of their affair, and they had a painful punishment. Like the example of the shaitan when he says to man that he should deny, then when he denies, he says, I am innocent of thee, I fear God, the Lord of all mankind. So the final outcome for them is that they are in the fire, they abiding eternally therein. And that is the reward of the wrongdoers. O oh, you who heed warning, be in prudent fear of God, and let a soul look to what it has sent ahead for the morrow, and be in prudent fear of God. God is aware of what you do. And be not like those who forgot God, so he caused them to forget their souls. These are the wantonly perfidious. Not equal are the companions of the fire and the companions of the garden. The companions of the garden, they are the triumphant. Had we sent down this Qur'an upon a mountain, thou hadst seen it rent asunder from fear of God. And those examples do we present to mankind that they might reflect. He is God. There is no God save he, the knower of the unseen and the seen. He is the Almighty, the Merciful. He is God, there is no God save He, the King, the Holy, the Perfect, the Faithful, the Preserver, the Mighty, the Compeller, the Supreme. Glory be unto God above that to which they ascribe a partnership. He is God, the Creator, the Originator, the fashioner. To him belong the most beautiful names. To him gives glory what is in the heavens and the earth, and he is the mighty, the wise. Chapter 60. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. 
O you who heed warning, take not my enemy and your enemy as allies, extending towards them love when they have denied that which has come to you of the truth, they expelling the messenger and yourselves because you believe in God, your Lord, if you go forth to strive in my cause and seek my pleasure, showing them love in secret. And I know best what you hide and what you proclaim. And whoso does it among you, he has strayed from the evenness of the way. If they gain the ascendancy over you, they will be enemies to you and will stretch out their hands and their tongues against you with evil. And they long that you might deny. Neither your kinship nor your children will benefit you. On the day of resurrection he will judge between you, and God sees what you do. There was for you a good model in Ibrahim and those with him, when they said to their people, We are innocent of you and all that you serve besides God. We reject you, and there has arisen between us and you enmity and hatred, time without end, until you believe in God alone. Save the saying of Ibrahim to his father, I will ask forgiveness for thee, though I have no power for thee against God. Our Lord, in thee we place our trust, and to thee do we turn repentant, and to thee is the journey's end. Our Lord, Make thou not us a means of denial for those who are indifferent to warning, and forgive thou us, our Lord. Thou art the mighty, the wise. There was for you in them a good model for one who expects God and the last day. And whoso turns away God, he is the free from need, the praiseworthy. It may be that God will place love between you and those of them with whom you have enmity. And God is powerful, and God is forgiving, merciful. God forbids you not with those who have neither fought you in doctrine nor expelled you from your homes, that you be virtuous with them or be equitable towards them. God loves the equitable. God but forbids you those who fight you in doctrine and expel you from your homes and assist in your expulsion that you should take them as allies. And whoso takes allies among them, these are the wrongdoers. O oh, you who heed warning, when the believing women come to you as fugitives, examine them. God knows best their faith. And if you know them to be believing women, then return them not to the atheists. Such women are not lawful for them, and they are not lawful for such women. And give them what they spent. And you do no wrong to marry such women when you give them their rewards. And hold not by tie denying women and ask for what you have spent, and let them ask for what they have spent. That is the judgment of God. He judges between you, and God is knowing, wise. And if any of your wives slip away from you to the atheists, and your turn comes, give to those whose wives have gone the like of what they spent and be in prudent fear of God in whom you are believers. O prophet, when believing women come to thee swearing fealty to thee that they will not ascribe a partnership with God to anything and will neither steal nor commit unlawful sexual intercourse nor kill their children nor produce a calumny they have invented between their hands and their feet nor disobey thee in what is fitting then accept thou their fealty, and ask thou God to forgive them. God is forgiving, merciful. O you who heed warning, 
take not as allies a people with whom God is wroth. They have despaired of the hereafter as the atheists despair of the companions of the graves. Chapter 61 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. What is in the heavens and what is in the earth gives glory to God, and he is the mighty, the wise. O you who heed warning, why say you that which you do not? A great abomination is it in the sight of God that you say what you do not. God loves those who fight in his cause in ranks as if they were a structure pressed firm. And when Musa said to his people, O oh my people, why do you hinder me when you know that I am the messenger of God to you? Then when they deviated, God caused their hearts to deviate. And God guides not the wantonly perfidious people. And when Isa, son of Mariam, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of God to you, confirming what is within my grasp of the Torah, and bringing glad tidings of a messenger coming after me, whose name is more praiseworthy, then when he came to them with clear evidence, they said, This is obvious sorcery. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God when he is invited to submission? And God guides not the wrongdoing people. They wish to extinguish the light of God with their mouths, but God will perfect his light, though those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue be averse. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and the doctrine of truth, that he might make it manifest over every doctrine, though the idolaters be averse. O oh, you who heed warning, shall I direct you to a trade that will deliver you from a painful punishment? You believe in God and his messenger, and strive in the path of God with your wealth and your lives. That is best for you if you would know. He will forgive you your transgressions and make you enter gardens beneath which rivers flow and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetual abode. That is the tremendous achievement. But you love another. Help from God and a near victory, ellipsis, are you promised to continue, and give thou glad tidings to the believers. O oh, you who heed warning, be helpers of God, as Asa, son of Mariam, said to the white-robed ones, Who are my helpers for God? The white-robed ones said, We are the helpers of God. And a number of the children of Israel believed, and a number denied. And we strengthened those who heeded warning against their enemy, so they became dominant. Chapter 62 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. What is in the heavens and what is in the earth gives glory to God, the King, the Holy, the Mighty, the Wise. He it is who raised up among the unschooled, a messenger from among them, reciting to them his proofs, and increasing them in purity, and teaching them the law and wisdom, though they were before in obvious error, and others from them who have not yet joined them. And he is the mighty, the wise. That is the bounty of God he gives to whom he wills, and God is one possessing tremendous bounty. The example of those given to bear the Torah, then have borne it not, is like the example of the donkey bearing books. Evil is the example of the people who repudiate the proofs of God, and God guides not the wrongdoing people. 
Say thou, O you who hold to Judaism, if you claim that you are the only allies of God among mankind, long for death if you be truthful. But never will they long for it, because of what their hands have sent before them, and God knows the wrongdoers. Say thou, the death from which you flee, it will meet you, then will you be sent back to the knower of the unseen and the seen, and he will tell you what you did. O you who heed warning, when the call is heard for the duty of the day of assembly, hasten to the remembrance of God and leave commerce. That is best for you if you would know. And when the duty is concluded, then disperse in the land and seek of the bounty of God, and remember God much that you might be successful. But when they see trade or diversion, they disband towards it and leave thee standing. Say thou, that which God has is better than either diversion or trade, and God is the best of providers. Chapter 63 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. When the waverers come to thee, they say, We bear witness that thou art the messenger of God. But God knows that thou art his messenger, and God bears witness that the waverers are liars. They took their oaths as a cover, then forsook the path of God. Evil is what they did, because they believed then denied, and their hearts were sealed, so they understand not. And when thou seest them, their outward appearances impress thee. And if they speak, thou givest ear to their speech as if they were propped up pieces of dry wood. They think every blast is against them. They are the enemy, so beware thou of them. God curses them, how are they deluded? And when it is said to them, Come, the messenger of God will ask forgiveness for you, they look away, and thou seest them turning away, and they are proud. Whether thou ask forgiveness for them, or hast not asked forgiveness for them, it is the same for them, God will not forgive them. God guides not the wantonly perfidious people. They it is who say, Spend not on those with the messenger of God until they disband. And to God belong the treasuries of the heavens and the earth, but the waverers understand not. They say, If we return to the town, the mightier will drive therefrom the weaker. But greatness belongs to God, and to his messenger, and to the believers, but the waverers know not. O oh, you who heed warning, let not your wealth or your children divert you from the remembrance of God. And those who do that, these are the losers. And spend of what we have provided you, before death comes to one among you, and he says, My Lord, hadst thou but delayed me a little while, I would have given charity and been among the righteous. But God delays no soul when its turn comes, and God is aware of what you do. Chapter 64 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. What is in the heavens and what is in the earth gives glory to God. To him belongs the dominion and to him belongs the praise, and he is powerful over all things. He it is who created you, and among you is one who spurns guidance while claiming virtue, and among you is a believer, and God sees what you do. He created the heavens and the earth aright, and he fashioned you and made good your forms. And to him is the journey's end. 
He knows what is in the heavens and the earth, and he knows what you conceal and what you make known, and God knows what is in the breasts. Has not the story reached you of those who were indifferent to warning before and so tasted the evil consequences of their affair? And they had a painful punishment, because when their messengers came to them with clear evidence, they said, Shall mortals guide us? So they denied and turned away. And God is rich, and God is free from need, praiseworthy. Those who are indifferent to warning claim that they will not be raised. Say thou, Verily, by my Lord, you will be raised, then will you be informed of what you did, and that is easy for God. So believe in God and his messenger, and the light which we have sent down, and God is aware of what you do. The day he will gather you to the day of gathering, that will be the day of mutual loss, and whoso believes in God and works righteousness, he will remove from him his evil and make him enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. That is the tremendous achievement. And those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs, these are the companions of the fire, they abiding eternally therein, and evil is the journey's end. No misfortune befalls, save by God's leave, and whoso believes in God, he guides his heart, and God knows all things. And obey God, and obey the messenger, and if you turn away, then upon our messenger is but the clear communication. God, there is no God save he, and in God then let the believers place their trust. O oh, you who heed warning, among your spouses and your children are enemies to you, so beware of them. And if you pardon and overlook and forgive, God is forgiving, merciful. Your wealth and your children are but a means of denial, and God with him is a tremendous reward. So be in prudent fear of God as much as you are able, and listen, and obey, and spend. It is better for your souls. And whoso is protected from the covetousness of his soul, these are the successful. If you lend to God a goodly loan, he will double it for you and forgive you. And God is appreciative, forbearing, the knower of the unseen and the seen, the mighty, the wise. Chapter 65 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. O Prophet, when you divorce women... Divorce them after their waiting period, and count the waiting period, and be in prudent fear of God your Lord. Expel them not from their households, nor let them go forth, save if they commit manifest sexual immorality. And those are the limits of God. And whoso transgresses the limits of God, he has wronged his soul. Thou knowest not that God might after that bring about a matter. And when they reach their term, retain them according to what is fitting, or release them according to what is fitting. And call to witness two just men among you, and uphold the witness before God. That is exhorted he who believes in God and the last day. And whoso is in prudent fear of God, he will make for him a way out, and will provide for him without him reckoning. And whoso places his trust in God, he is sufficient for him. 
God achieves his command. God has set a measure for all things. And for such of your women as despair of menstruation, if you doubt, their waiting period shall be three moons, as well as for those who have not menstruated. And for those who are bearing, their waiting period shall be till they lay down their burden. And whoso is in prudent fear of God, he makes for him of his command ease. That is the command of God he sent down to you. And whoso is in prudent fear of God, he removes from him his evil and makes for him a great reward. Let them dwell in what manner you dwell out of your means, and harm them not so as to constrict them. And if they be bearing, spend on them until they lay down their burden. Then if they suckle for you, give them their reward and take counsel among you according to what is fitting. And if there be difficulties between you, let another suckle for him. Let him who has abundance spend of his abundance, and whose provision is measured, let him spend of what God has given him. God imposes not upon a soul save what he has given it. God will make after hardship ease. And how many a city scorns the command of its Lord and his messengers, which we then called to a stern account and punished with detestable punishment. So it tasted the evil consequences of its affair, and the final outcome of its affair was loss. God prepared for them a severe punishment. So be in prudent fear of God, O oh, you possessed of insight who heed warning. God has sent down to you a remembrance, a messenger reciting to you the manifest proofs of God, that he might bring forth those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness from darkness into light. And whoso believes in God and works righteousness he makes him enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. God has made good a provision for him. God is he who created seven heavens, and of the earth their like, the command descending between them, that you might know that God is powerful over all things, and that God has encompassed all things in knowledge. Chapter 66. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. O prophet, why makest thou unlawful that which God has made lawful for thee, seeking to please thy wives? And God is forgiving, merciful. God has ordained for you absolution from your oaths, and God is your benefactor, and he is the knowing the wise. And when the prophet confided a statement to one of his wives, when she told it, and God made it known to him, he made known part of it and passed over part. And when he informed her about it, she said, Who told thee this? He said, There told me the knowing, the aware. If you repent to God, then have your hearts inclined, but if you help each other against him, God is his benefactor, and Jibril, and the righteous of the believers, and the angels are helpers as well. It may be that his Lord, if he divorce you, will give him in exchange wives better than you, submitted, believing, devoutly dutiful, penitent, serving, journeying, previously married and virgins. O oh, you who heed warning, protect yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is men and stones, over which are angels, stern, severe, not opposing God in what he has commanded them, but doing what they are commanded. 
O oh, you who are indifferent to warning, make no excuses for yourselves this day. You are but being rewarded for what you did. O oh, you who heed warning, turn to God in sincere repentance. It may be that your Lord will remove from you your evil and make you enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. The day God will not disgrace the prophet and those who heed warning with him, their light running under their authority and on their right hand, they will say, Our Lord, perfect thou our light for us and forgive thou us. Thou art powerful over all things. O prophet, strive thou against the atheists and the waverers and be thou stern with them and their habitation is hell, and evil is the journey's end. God presents an example for those who are indifferent to warning. The wife of Nuh and the wife of Lut, they were under two of our righteous servants, yet they betrayed them, and they will avail them nothing against God. And it will be said, Enter the fire with those who enter. And God presents an example for those who heed warning. The wife of Firaun, when she said, My Lord, build thou for me a dwelling with thee in the garden, and deliver thou me from Firaun and his deeds, and deliver thou me from the wrongdoing people. And Maryam, daughter of Imran, who guarded her modesty, we breathed into her of our spirit, and she confirmed the words of her Lord and his laws, and was of the devoutly dutiful.